All right, I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways to fillet bullheads. You know, there's the old-fashioned way, like catfishing bullheads, where people... Oh, you hush. People nail them to the trees. There's no need for that. Um, one way to fillet them, really it's the same way that you do any fish. It's just a little tougher because bullheads have such wide rib cage. I'm going to leave this attached. Don't cut all the way down for this method. I'm going to show you the same way I've done other fish, but just, you know, fillet along the bones. They don't have any any special bones you got to worry about. Now, I will say this. Don't worry about getting all the way down to the ribs because I'm going to tell you right now, there is no meat on those ribs. Uh, you're really just wasting your time if you're trying to nitpick those ribs because I'll show you. I mean, literally, that that's all bone. So you're just going to get that skin. That's it. So don't try to get that. It's a waste of time. But fillet it over, flip it, and then you can just run the knife right along the skin. Careful not to cut through because then it's harder to get the skin off. But look at that. Beautiful bullhead fillet right there. I'll show you again on this one. And then I'll show you the other method. Just cut behind the gill plates, run your knife along the backbone, just like that. When I get down to about here, I like to stick the knife through, run the knife down there. I got cats scaring me down wanting these. I feed them my guts, they love it. <laughs> Again, don't worry about getting too close to those ribs. I usually will cut right off at the ribs, just like that. Flip it. Run your knife right along there. Just like that. Beautiful bullhead fillets. I'm going to give my guts here to the kitties. <laughs> okay, now, next up, guys, this is the way that I prefer to do it anymore. Um, years ago, I invested in this beautiful Victory Knox. Um, skinning knife from the Wellman Sports Center. That's what they, or Wellman's Bait Tackle, that's what they use to do all their commercial skinning of uh, salmon and stuff. Now for this, I'm going to slice it right off. I don't need to hold it on on this one. Same thing though. I mean, filleting these is the same no matter what. Don't worry about those ribs. You ain't going to get any meat on them. Just like that. Cut off along the belly. Now on this one, I'm gonna cut both fillets off and then I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> the cats are like, come on, drop it, drop it. They get lots of, they get more fresh meals than probably any cat. Yeah, we hear you. All right. Now this one I'll show you. There you go, kitty. All right, this one I'm going to use this. It looks like a butter knife, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's extremely sharp. This is made for skinning. Now with this, it is easier if you've got like a, a fork or something to hold it down. I personally will use my finger. I make just a little cut downward just till I'm down to about the skin and then kind of side to side like that boom look at that that's all it takes this thing is so sharp that uh, just that little side to side motion is all it takes to get it off so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to, I don't need to show you anymore, but I'm going to fillet all the rest. I got a pile to do, but I'm just going to fillet them. All right, this is what happens if you wait too long <laughs> to go pick your fiddleheads. That is what they look like. Those are way too far gone right there. Beautiful though. I love seeing them. I mean, they basically grow in fields, but I'm sure that we can still find a bunch of pickable ones. So let's go see what we find. Alright, walking up on a big patch of them. I mean, you really can't miss them. 
<laughs> and they'll grow like this all they like wet areas they'll be all along streams and rivers and ponds and they like the water but yeah these fiddleheads you don't want them when they get that big you need them when they're small before they come up really so let's see if we can find some sometimes you find them that like these see perfect look at that this is what you want right here folks just the young ones you can usually find some at the bottom of the stalks that haven't quite opened up yet and if you really look i mean there's there's fresh ones that haven't even opened so i mean i could come out in a few more days and even get some fresh ones so they're not done yet i mean i still feel silly because i should have come out <laughs> right at the trout opener is usually like the deadline to come out and get them before they unfurl like that but yeah totally missed out i wanted to fill the freezer this year because you can freeze these babies and eat them all winter but yep definitely missed out on that so hopefully i can find enough for a meal uh, there's definitely a lot of them that's gone too far but we'll see if we can find a bunch that haven't good one i mean normally <laughs> if you hit them right you don't even have to pick through them like this i mean if i would have picked them when i should have last week all of these would have been pickable but again wait too long just like most things i mean you wait too long even on asparagus and uh that that's gonna go to seed on you so i mean you do have a time crunch when it comes to picking things like these so it is it's pretty important to get out and get them but especially when they still have the brown crust on them if they've still got that you know they're good i'm gonna leave that one alone let it grow a little bit here's a good one a couple good ones got this one you, you just want to pick them before they uncurl that's the whole thing that you want so yep let's keep on keep on picking i'm gonna need a lot more for it takes a lot of these to make a meal <laughs> kind of like morel mushrooms they shrink up not as bad as a morel but they still shrink this guy's still good he ain't quite well he's pretty dirty i'm just give him a quick rinse when i get home mm. yeah we'll just see how many of these we can get hoping i can come onto a pile that hasn't quite started yet sometimes there's some that you'll find that didn't get enough sun or enough rain and they're later growing But there's usually some in the batches like that. Crazy though. I mean, it's only been like a week, two weeks tops. And these guys have already gone, grown so big. I've been getting into quite a few better ones over this way. It is starting to rain on me though. I knew we had a storm coming. I think I left the window down on the truck. Uh, finally getting into some good ones though. See, I like to get them about that size. Once they start unrolling any more than that, I leave them be. Because they do, they're supposed to have toxins. And when they start uncurling, that's when they get bad. So don't mess with them when they get big. I should have a good batch for home though now. See, that's good that's all curled up that's that's a nice one there's a few of them in there like that these are that's a good batch right here i'll probably leave the rest of these ones alone here's a young plant same like i said sometimes they just might not be getting as much sun or rain as the rest of them i do recommend though not picking them all you know even if the even if the stalk was completely young like hadn't come up at all yet i i, I wouldn't pick them all that's just going to kill the plant so be cautious of that folks remember conservation keep that in mind at all times you know same thing with ramps any of this stuff that you pick you got to be real careful with you got to keep in mind takes it a long time to get as big as it is 
And if you just go ripping it all out of the ground, well, you're going to ruin it for everybody. So, yeah, this is getting into good ones now. I had to walk in a little ways, but not too bad. Definitely going to have a good meal. I'm going to fry these babies up with the bullheads. Make for a great catch and cook. I wanted to get a side dish for those anyway, so... Yeah, these will be good for that. Uh, Alright guys, got me a baggie full of nice fresh fiddleheads. Cook up with some bullheads. Should be delicious. Bye. <laughs>